Hey YouTube, what's up? It's the boss Ella and I'm here with a very quick makeup haul from uh, what we got. I like making noise. TJ Maxx, Forever 21, Sephora, Mac. So let's get started. And just like some beauty supply store stuff. Hello to my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Hello to my old subscribers. What's up, baby? Baby. Alright, first of all. At the Mac store, I picked up, I got my Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark. I also had to pick up the Studio Fluid, um, yeah, Studio Fix Fluid in my color, which is NC45. NC45, that's my color, sometimes. And I'm going to try something called the Pro Long Wear Concealer. Woo! Had to pick that up and try. I'm going to try it in a color number 42 and see what that does for me. And that's what I got at the Mac store real quick. And I was so sad because I had let my Pro card expire. So I need to get online and go take care of that. All right. So at Sephora, I had to pick up really quickly this beautiful Stardust. Uh, illuminizer. It's really an eyeshadow, but I'm going to wear it as an, I think I'm ashy as an illuminizer. And that's what it looks like, if y'all can see that. The lighting is funny in here. I picked that up. I also picked up uh, the HD Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the color 173, so I want to try that out and see how that does. What is all that on the box? Anywho, yeah, I wanted to try this out and see what that looks like. Definitely going to have to do a review on that. It was pretty in the store, and I walked around in the mall. It looked pretty good. So, and also at Sephora, I had to pick up the NARS Albatross, which looks like this. It's a beautiful illuminizer. It looks like that. This one is the Stardust. The eyeshadow and this is albatross which i think they look pretty darn close to each other and while i'm at it let me show y'all something else let me see if i got it honey oh so not too long ago i had went to the beauty supply store and got this clean color palette well look at this um one of their colors it looks like it's the same as the illuminizer Check that out. I wish y'all could see this lighting in here. It's so lame. Let's see. They all favor. Can y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all know I'm always looking for some way to save some money. So, we'll see about that. Anywho, um, on to the next thing at Forever 21. I picked up a bronzer in the color bronze. And this was $3.80. See that? And... This is what this look, is looking like. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. See that? Definitely a bronzy color. Anywho, moving right along. I also got this shadow palette. Yay! Oh my goodness. And this is in the color Brown Neutral. And this is what the palette looks like. Show y'all these fabulous colors. Oh no, there goes my... Look at this color right here, y'all. This little gold is so pretty. Look at this pinky color. Look at that. Ooh. Those colors are fabulous. And this palette was only um, $6.80. All right, so moving right along. I had to stop at TJ Maxx. And at TJ Maxx, I picked up my favorite, David Yerman. As you see, I've been using that thing, honey. This is David Yerman. This sells for $85, and I got it for $39, so you know I was happy about that. I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow and Hair Powder, and I got the color Teal and also the color Ultraviolet, and they were $3.99 at TJ Maxx. I'm going to try those went to Walgreens and this is not 
uh, this is like a week ago, went to Walgreens and they had these, they had save a dollar off and then they were on sale for like $2.99. It was ridiculous. So I got the, um, I'm his breezy art in the streets, the naked truth and floral values. And then they had these on sale for like, um, two for three dollars and they had a save a dollar off on each one of the colors they had a little coupon on here so these are the mega sticks wet n wild balm stains and i ended up paying um 50 cents for each one of these believe it or not at walgreens stop by the local beauty supply store because i had to get the rest of the clean color little quad collection of their playlist and these are what they look like and they are really pigmented and you can wear them wet or dry and these were two dollars a piece and they are fabulous they have them on the side if you are interested in them also at walgreens i gotta show y'all this see if i can pick it all up see these nail polishes let me pick them all up these were at walgreens y'all and they were also on sale and they all had a save a dollar off coupon on them and i think they were like a dollar fifty a piece and i ended up paying fifty cents for these two at walgreens so y'all look out for those coupons and look out for when they have a sale all right picked up from the local beauty supply store also the she um waterproof gel liner and i've been wearing it lately and i really really like it it was like three dollars and it's fabulous I also picked up some of the clean color uh, baked shadows from the local beauty supply store. And these things are fabulous. Let me show y'all how pigmented they are. Y'all see that? Oh, Lord. That's, that's just like way too much. But yeah, these are fabulous. I had to, uh-oh, uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. I had to grab me a couple of colors because they wear really good. And they look really good. So, yeah. Um, also, I love this little clean color. I can't say it. Clean color. Chick. Um, what's it called? Blush. Duh. This is a blush. And it looks a bit ashy, but um, I don't know. I like it. It's kind of cute. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let's see. It's real subtle. Ooh, and at TJ Maxx, I forgot to tell y'all, I got me a beauty blender. I got this orange one. This is so fabulous. When you want to put your makeup on flawless, that's the thing to do it with. Let's see. Did I get everything? Um, I picked up an eyeshadow by, let's see, it's called J Cats. And the color is Jam and Toast. And it's so cute, but guess what? I have the hardest time opening it, so I can't show y'all what it looks like, but it comes with a little mirror in there and a little brush, and yeah, that's it. I picked up Halle Berry's Closer perfume from City Trends. Mm, it's pretty good. It's a nice, um, you know, kick around fragrance. But yeah, so that's my makeup haul. I'm sorry the camera kept cutting off. I'm trying to make sure that I show you everything I want to show y'all. Definitely. I'm going to make a noise again. Definitely will do some reviews about this junk. I will definitely do some reviews about this makeup. And if not, I'll be putting it in a giveaway bag, which I need to have a giveaway because I was supposed to have a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. And yeah, time just got passed. It just, you know, and I had four. I looked up more than 5,000 subscribers. So I definitely got to do a big giveaway, which I'm going to do soon, which will include makeup, jewelry, I don't know a whole bunch of stuff well thank y'all for watching I love y'all and I will talk to y'all later bye bye